All right. To be correct. Uh, did some small changes. Okay, that works. All right. Welcome to hopefully a new road project that's actually gonna be finished. Um, that will be very nice of me to uh, to to do and accomplish. Um, so, anyways, we are building Argentina or Argentina-inspired route. Um, as you can see, I have a little bit of like. A uh, little area has been already kind of uh, started on, and to be honest, it's nearly finished over this over the weekend. But um, yeah, uh, <laughs> let me show you guys around on what has been completed so far. It's not a lot, but it's something. Um, more or less proof of concept rather than anything else anything else uh, for now but um, yeah so this is essentially Argentina mini done to the same style of Central Europe mini but with a little bit of mixing of the original Central Europe now, what do I mean by that um, so basically, the original Central Europe was real uh, places, scaled down a little bit, but still representative of um, of the areas, right? Um, Central Europe Mini was completely fictional, and what I have, what I want to do here is, I want to base stuff off of real life. At least in Buenos Aires. Um, quick disclaimer. Sorry if I mispronounce every single thing. But uh, yes. Um, but yeah. I want to at least somewhat base it off of Buenos Aires. And I want to keep it fictional enough to uh, pretty much do anything I want. So uh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to my little fictional city. Capital of Argentina. Um, so what we've been looking at for the past five minutes is the uh, industrial or har harbor area that I've been putting together over the weekend. And I have to say it came out really nice. Um, so le let me go into pretty much the details of what I've got here. So obviously we start. Let's start with the biggest one, which is the town, the city itself around here. Um, it's uh, like the 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 city districts are actually taken from real life, so that uh, is gonna be consistent with the naming of uh, places, but the representation is not going to be hundred uh, percent. Um, to real life nor it's gonna be scaled down there is going to be some um, inspiration taken from it but it's not gonna be too too big of, uh, of an inspiration so the city itself is essentially gonna be working as a backdrop or like background only um because already, if you look down this area, there's already some minor uh, lag, uh, minor FPS drops. So, pretty much I'm not going to be touching this harbor area from now on at all. I'm just going to add trees. And I'm going to add, um, you know, obviously trains and signals and stuff like that. But scenery-wise, this is pretty much complete to what I want it to be. A little proof of concept, I guess. So, um, so this background only, so I'm not gonna be dwelling down into like making all like the street details and things like that for it. Um, there's no need to. 
I've lined the side of the highway here with some buildings that are more higher quality so that uh, you can I guess see that yeah that's you know higher quality stuff to, to give a nicer perspective while using the the worse quality stuff for for the backgrounds low poly and stuff like that um, and backdrops as well in the far far distance um, as for the highway, it's essentially acting as a wall between the detailed zone and the background, at least in this area. That's the point of it. Um, it's kind of wonky. That's by design. I like that. So I'm definitely keeping it. <laughs> but yeah, um, the highway is essentially as a wall. There are... There is a small gap here, and a small gap obviously here. So, over here is blocked off with a retaining wall. And over here, uh, there's nothing blocking it off really. You can see directly onto the street. Um, obviously I had to make some kind of road access to this entire area, so I decided to go for like this kind of thing. This option. Um... I might populate this area a bit more, maybe add some trees in some of the concrete areas as well to not make this feel so empty. But uh, that that's all to come later on, uh, when I actually do go down to placing trees. Um, so, yeah, you can see onto the street level through here, so I obviously had to detail it enough to... Um, look good to make sense you know so there's traffic there's traffic lights there's the whole ordeal pretty much to um to keep this facade or like this um the background running so that it's convincing enough that's the word sorry <laughs> um other than that, there isn't really any kind of detail for the city itself, so that works out quite well, performance-wise and stuff. But as for the detail part, where the tracks are, um, obviously the yard over here, bit of a on the smaller side. Um, don't mind the length of it yet. Uh, I didn't uh, measure it out at all. I just laid the tracks down to make it kind of uh, nicer. Um. Like pre planted basically. Um also kept a bit of like uneven spacing between the tracks to uh keep it more interesting in areas. Got some sheds over here on some nice assets, so I had to make use of them. I do I do think that they are quite fitting. And like in this entire industrial zone, for example. A lot of like the older style warehouses and industries and things. Then there's gonna be an engine shed over here. So this is where all, all the engines are gonna be stored. I'm gonna detail it a bit more, maybe add like some fuel pumps and uh, stuff like that in, in here to uh, make it more interesting. Um, I need to fix the road, hold on. We go but yeah it is entirely connected with the road to make it somewhat realistic there are some more interesting crossings or street running as well um, as a result but that's exactly what I've pla planned for this anyway so I'm very happy about that how it turned out in the end so over here the industrial zone itself continues I've got some trucks in here, some warehouses, some sheds and uh, stuff. To, uh, to, to keep the illusion, to make it look nice. On the nicer side. Move that guy a little bit. That's not what I wanted. Okay. You know, but uh, it's still pretty bare bones. Um, once I start adding trees, I'll actually get to know how much detail do I truly need for this area and what needs to like be there in uh, in all of this 
course, <clears throat> I still need to add buffers and stuff like that as well. So I'll I'll get to all of that later on. But yeah. I did spend a little bit of time playing around in here. I've downloaded like 15,000 assets over the weekend. <laughs> so <laughs> I... <laughs> I, I'm not having any kind of shortage of uh, detailing options um, anytime soon, I hope, at least. Of course, there's always something that will pop up, but um, not to the point that you need to download another 10,000, 15,000 assets to make something. Which is quite ridiculous, even for um, even for my stuff, to, to obtain that kind of large amount of assets to use. But yeah, we've got a container terminal over here. The one longer industry as well. Um, you've got general goods unloading here and container loading over here. There isn't container unloading yet. Uh, I'll get to the yet part very shortly. Um, but yeah, the truck over here loops around, goes in there, connects with the with the main line. I'm gonna uh, talk about this quite for quite some time now. Um, so, over here, uh, where the general goes unload is we have a little pier as well. Um, it's got quite a shape to it, uh, which I found very interesting to use, so I have uh, went with it, I kept it. So you can actually unload here, it's an actual industry that works. Obviously detailed with boats and stuff uh, over in the distance as well. Maybe I'll push them a bit further out to... Um, to keep the illusion running or because they do they are quite massive and uh, they do feel that they are relatively close to the shore and everything so I'll see about the entire sizing of that um, so looking down this way um, you can obviously see that the main line continues on now regarding the main line um, this is the freight park uh, I do not have any concrete plans on actually making a passenger part to this, a passenger section. So, um, for now, it's pretty much just uh, cargo oriented only. Um, so, for, further down this way, I would like to have, uh, I would like to connect up this steel mill, obviously, because that would be quite nice industry to have. Um, not really go to the harbor itself over here. That's not really necessary. Just, uh, like, some tracks here, block it off maybe with a wall. Maybe trucks through here, because there's the loading uh, area pretty much. You get the idea. So, kind of another, like, industrial area like this. But it's going to be hard to, like, even detail it uh, much, because, um, yeah. It's already, as I said some minor FPS drops just in this area, so I'm very skeptical whether I actually want to include this steel mill or if I want it to be here. I might make another steel mill on the other side of the city. I'll get to that again later. Um, where that could be nice or useful. Um, so heading down this way, it would obviously run along the coast, along the harbor. And the container loading would be in a second part of the harbor area, further that way. I actually don't know properly the orientation, I need to check, hold on. I had the origin over here somewhere, yeah, okay. So yeah, further south along the coast is uh, where the container loading would be. And I would still like to have like some liquid harbors as well, so like for liquids like crude oil and diesel fuel and stuff like that uh, import export so so that there's, there's a lot of um, things I can still make for the harbor area and considering that this is the major city the capital city I'm gonna have to figure something out anyways because uh, there obviously has to be a lot of uh, industrial kind of uh, stuff in here um, so as it is right now though, I do not plan on expanding down this way, down south, yet. 
Uh, I would like to focus on going north and west on the on the line. So up this way. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat is kind of uh, dry already. Because yes, I'm talking a lot. <laughs> it's been 70 minutes of me constantly talking right now, explaining what I'm doing, what has been done and stuff. So, um, yeah, because of the lag, I would like to split the city into several different industrial areas that are just far enough away from each other um, so that the detail is not really problematic with the, with the frames and with the performance of the route. But that leaves me with quite a dilemma because... Um, I've said that I'm basically basing the areas off of real places, and this right here is uh, Retiro, right? It's supposed to represent the Retiro district or the Retiro area of Buenos Aires, which um, features a container harbor, a bus station, and from what I've seen, or from what I've been able to disintegrate maps of, of uh, three massive passenger terminals. Which, as you can obviously tell, is not really going to uh, be a thing here. So, um, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm cutting it down a lot. Which, which brings me to this thing here, which is just a placeholder. As a, it's basically a reminder that, oh hey, I need passenger stuff later on. Like, I would like to have passenger stuff, but it's not the main focus for me to uh, to make it on this route. So, yeah. I'm probably going to skip the entire part of the Retiro area being like the main central like train hub of the city. And instead, like, because Buenos Aires has several different train terminals scattered around, so I'm thinking of just using the different ones. Uh, there's one further west uh, of here, and one that's further south from here. Now, obviously, station is going to be a very detailed area. It will need a lot of tracks. It will need some uh, sidings as well for passenger cars and maybe a locomotive depot as well. So there's going to be another zone of performance drop um, that I need to account for. So it needs to be far enough away from the industrial zones that it doesn't pose a problem. Which is a problem now because I need at least two other industrial zones. And at least one passenger terminal. So three more areas that are far enough from each other to um, to not cause performance issues. Uh, the problem of this all is the fact that, well, I'm scaling down Argentina for this. And me doing another three areas basically means that I need to repeat this kind of like city or like this kind of stuff on the other side around the city. Right? Around the downtown area. And I need to do like suburban area. Basically what I plan doing on here. So just residential houses and everything. Which is quite demanding on itself. Because it, there's a lot of details when it comes to residential areas. Especially when you can see them from the track. So I'll need to figure out a smart way of how to make this all block each other. How to, how to cancel it out. How to... Uh, implement it without it causing any kind of issues um, so yeah it's going to be a challenge but it should be a fun one and I'm really looking forward to um, what I will be able to make of, of this and I really hope that I will be able to um, to finish this off yeah, that would be very nice obviously I could put some industrial stuff here as well on this little pier but uh, I, be I figured that because of the performance drops already here I'm gonna keep this empty or maybe just place down like abandoned ruins or something the 2D plates that I've used on Polaris for example of just 2D ruined buildings but yeah I'll see how 
uh, how that all will work out. To basically represent like the abandoned area of the harbor. Um, over here, the pier is going to end. I'll I'll uh, edit the area next to the uh, next to the water as well, so that it looks better. This isn't just grass going down in to the water, you know. But it's uh, nice and easy, nice and cozy. Um, but yeah, the yard itself will have to be, you know, cut to an end somewhere. So I'm guessing I'm going to do it somewhere along like here before um, the highway turns off. I forgot to um, disable traffic on this highway. It's able further down. But uh, yeah, the problem with this highway is that it's got the traffic on its own, but it only sticks to the middle lanes. You could see the car go down. Um, what I've done is... Where's the... Blind point here. I've took the... Invisible road, and I've basically run it into the ground like that. Now, this invisible road spawns no traffic. In the surveyor, nor in the driver. So it's very helpful for... This kind of stuff. And I play them every every so often to uh, basically ensure that even if a traffic spawns, by the time the player sees it, it will be gone. Means I need to place on here as well. The, what, the, what I plan on doing with the traffic on the highway is there is going to be traffic, but I'm going to be custom making it with other splines. So that it drives on all the lanes and so that I can incorporate the highway interchange here as well. Um, so yeah, there's gonna be a lot of splines to, uh, to, to, to work with. But I'm quite looking forward to that as well. So, um... Let's, um... Uh... Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna take a sip of water for a little bit. Um. Oh. All right. Hmm, <clears throat> right. Pretty soon I wanted to get an idea of some of the stuff uh, that I'm using and and some recommendations for vehicles. So let's quickly message them. Alright. Hello VGR, welcome. We are building out well. I'm here trying to figure out why Tracenetting cannot read a simple JPEG file. Um, check the config. Make sure that uh, in the config file of whatever you want to add the JPEG to, it's actually specified as .jpeg. <clears throat> Those trains can take both JPEG and PNG. So you need to specify it in the config of what, so that it knows what you are using. Anyways, uh, actually, let's let's get into like the detail stuff now. I want to do the trees. About now, because as I said, I pretty much finished the scenery vice thing, like the main scenery, anyway. So uh, I would like to get down to like the finer details, and I cannot do the finer details um, without knowing what I can omit and what I have to actually pay attention to. So let's um, actually start with some finer things, like a crossing uh, boards and stuff like that. In um in this area, this is nice. This is a very nice looking asset. The bet that's gonna cause problems over there on that side. Hmm. I'm gonna keep the old one over there.
Would be nice to have the, another one. Crossing wood all. Oh, let's. I'm gonna check that out. Crossing wood old. Okay, that's the one. Track object. Who made it? Pencil 42. Donald Station. Yep, Pencil 42. Okay. Let's set it to crossing. And let's. Hold on. Oh, yeah, it's a list. You cannot see that. Uh, track object. And I'm gonna be looking for out whore. Pencil 42. I want to get all of these. It's on the mesh. I cannot do that. It's giving me V165 and V171. Mm. Yeah, that sucks then. No idea how to omit that then. Well, that is downloading. Um. some quite interesting stuff because there's the JR stuff oh, I'm actually gonna put that on the main line here it's gonna be like the freight main line going through the city I think it's gonna be nice if I like combine some different styles of the crossings here to um Make it more interesting. Hmm. But yeah, so got Of like in this style. With the gaps in there as well. I could move it, but it's gonna look kind of weird on the on the junction there. Which is the main problem I usually have with crossing boards anyways in this game. The way it just made clips into each other all the time so yeah uh, but yeah whatever it's quite unfortunate can't really do anything with it don't care I think the gap on the, like this, uh, the small size difference on the, you know, what I mean, this thing here where they merge, having that little like drop down fits quite well for here. So I'm gonna keep that. I think it gives her like a, a nice interesting effect on this all. Alright, there's another crossing there. So let's... Make use of that, okay. That works there. 
got more of them though, so I'm gonna actually switch to this one again. Over here this one would be better looking, more interesting. So what I like about this one is that you can pretty much bring them in closer together without having too many issues. Oh no, he's actually having a bit of graphical issues, whatever. Um, This is the kind of stuff I'm looking for over here, at least. Now this here, actually gonna set this down to zero. Over here. Gonna have the tracks uncovered in this area. I think that's gonna work better. These are ten meshes I shouldn't give this error. Because I got this Russian Metri with this error, and it's giving me crazy. Driving me crazy, yeah. That's it, not corrupted. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Actually, thinking about it, this would work better if this was entirely uncovered. I'm gonna just... Or not at all? Hmm. Yeah, I think honestly just in this area it would be better to uh, simply... Skip it like this. Yeah, I think that looks better here. And I'm gonna get rid of the junction levers as well, because they're not the ones that I would like to use. All right, I've got taken care of that. So uh, let's let's find the trees. What is this? Okay, and then enable the random rotation. Oh, before I do that. I need to have better greater control of the textures here. I'm gonna run that. Okay. And I need to do that here as well. You're not really a fan of the shoreline slope over here, so 
Just gonna edit this a little bit. Extend it a bit further out into the water or bring it a bit more in. Make this feel a bit more better and natural. Um, for now, I'm just gonna be using this like gravel texture, and later on, I'll like, might put in like beach or so sand or some finer rocks. Um, make this area a bit nicer. But for now, this is sufficient for what I want to do. All right, coastline, uh, we have that. So, actually, one thing I should start with is not really the trees, it should be the bushes. Um... Let's take that, that uh... Color palette actually relatively fits, which I'm surprised. Didn't expect it to be uh, fitting at all. It's not like precise, but good enough in my opinion. I definitely want something like this. Pushes here and there and the make the detail a bit nicer. Because not everything can just be open trees, you know. It has to be some lower greenery as well. I like how on the one baseboard route, it took me ages to get to the scenery and to the trees themselves and like bushes as well. Here, pretty much the first episode we're doing bushes already. <laughs> Gengar would be proud. And it seems like Chesantin also has a problem with people using the same picture for texture and thumbnail. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised about that, but they, they shouldn't be that big of a issue, to be honest, because as long as you have them as two different names, uh, it's definitely not an issue. But your trains can get easily confused about many things, so... Uh, Always try to keep it simple and think of it like a five-year-old kid. You need to keep things basic and simple for it to understand <laughs> basic stuff, you know, to understand things. That's just generally the approach you should have with this game. For now, I'm just placing down the bigger bushes. And I'll place some smaller ones as well eventually.
Oh, this one's even bigger. Nice, so we're gonna do a few of these. Just to make it a bit more varied. Variety is a very nice thing to have when it comes to a lot of assets. If you look at my buildings, for example, that I've used here, um, in, like in this frame, you can see that only one of them, actually now two total objects, like repeat. And that's uh, this one. And this one, they're the same building. And the big city here and here, those are the same assets. Just rotated differently. Look at this big building, for example. The same one is here. It's just interpolated with some interpolate. It's got like in, it's it's interfered a little bit with uh, some separate standalone buildings like this skyscraper, for example. That one. That one in the middle, you know. But yeah, there's a lot of variety when it comes to stuff, like. You can just run along this entire side here, not a single building repeats. It's completely different and unique. The only thing that you may notice repeats is this, these uh, building splines. Because they are also in here. And this building spline with this one. And then obviously the background, but come on, you're not really gonna be seeing that anyways. That's there just for, uh, yeah, just as a decoration. Single thing because of the whole asset before, like, bruh, that doesn't even affect gameplay. Oh, you! Hello, Kengo! Welcome! Welcome to, um, the Argentina stream. <laughs> You're probably gonna comment on the fact that I'm already doing bushes on the first episode. Yes! <laughs> yes, I am, indeed. Because the um, way I'm going to be working on this route is going to be slightly different. Because, well, obviously it's a different kind of scope of the project. So it requires kind of a different building style to my usual. I don't really want to use the smallest bushes on this, um, just like these medium sized ones. I might use the smallest ones uh, later on for some other things, but um, this sense right now I uh, don't really want anything else because it's going to be covered in trees anyways. I just need to put in some of the details to, uh, to, to, to make it more believable, more livable, I, I guess. Might use smaller bushes to like line the side of this here to uh, to to make it feel a bit better. Look at your two wings. I like the color palette of ground textures. 
that paid it going for anywhere else. Yeah, absolutely. Because we're in all of these industries. I like it a lot. Is that in present day? Yes, and yes. Just to get the scope of that out. If you want to, like, get the idea of what I talked about, like the plan and stuff like that, watch the first 20 minutes of the VOD. So that's where I basically go into, like, the detail of what I've built and what I would like to do and stuff like that, so... I don't, I'm don't. i not gonna repeat myself, because that was... Yeah, 20 minutes of talking, so... Yeah. Take from that what you want. I definitely want to use some of the smaller bushes around as well, around the tracks, to um, make it feel slightly better, more natural. And I'll decorate the tracks maybe a bit more, I'm not really sure yet, because once again performance is um, high on the list of the things that I want to keep. For this route. I'll be grass, of course, as well, to hide some of the areas. I'm still not sure if I want to stick to uh, turf effects only, or if I want to have uh, spline grass as well. But I think I'm going to be using spline grass as well. I'm just not entirely sure of um, how it might work out. Might not be using it on the entire route. On like some sections. To enhance it a little bit. But uh, I'll, I'll see about all of that later on as the route progresses and things might change. Yeah, work in progress. Things are subject to change. Alright, let's say that's enough of the bushes for now. <laughs> um, place quite some, a lot of them around. Now I would like to spend some time with the trees. I don't want this area to like be full on forest because uh it's supposed to like represent an abandoned section of the of the harbor over here so just gonna have some trees here and there but it's not gonna be like chuck full of them like the brethos will work here the best uh birch trees <clears throat>
but there are some areas that will need a bit more trees because uh, obviously this was never a utilized corner of the of the area of the harbor so they didn't need to like get rid of the trees and stuff in many of these But there's still not going to be a lot of them. Need to be careful with the color palette as well of what I'm using. Because I don't want to accidentally like mix stuff that doesn't really go together well. But uh, for now this this seems very well, very fitting. So I'm I'm relatively happy. Something like this. Looks relatively nice already. Um, might need some more birch trees over here. This area. To, uh, make it feel much a little bit better. There's no birches here right now. Alright, that works here. Um, this is the kind of stuff I would like to have in this area as well. But yeah, this kind of stuff over here that works quite well for what I want to here to have here. So yeah, still bush, but we feel very well too. Oh wow, well, this is huge already. Yes, <laughs> well, of course. Also, I did mean to put an exclamation point before. Slip of the finger. Oh, <laughs> I had an error due to some. Textures being un uniform textures, normals by the way, and a singular pink pixel and boom. <laughs> nice. Right, so uh, this this 
this does that for this area, I would say. That looks quite nice. So let's, um... <clears throat> let's continue on with the treeification over here. Up along the coast a little bit. But I'm not gonna be going further than uh, these bushes here yet. Because, um... I would like to get the highway working as well before going any like further on with the scenery. Just to make this a bit nicer, a bit better. Looking relatively alright already, but uh, it, it still can be better. But I think that's gonna be mostly because the tracks are quite bare and stuff. Um, so there isn't much detail to, uh, to, to, to really like make something outstanding a bit more but yeah as it is right now it's relatively good ish yeah I like this all right As for the depot area, um, I actually wonder, like, there's obviously stuff that I would like to, uh, have in here and stuff like that. Also have to, I'll, I'll have to, um, Have anything really? Interesting, then. Cool. And I do have some stuff. Okay, it's just not... Hmm. Okay, fair enough. We have more of these around as well, because... Probably it's a locomotive depot.
of more details around. Um, wonder what the repair shed was called. There's this thingy. That could be a nice little depot detail. I'll place down more of these as well. Um, around here. So I feel like this is the kind of stuff that you would find around in here. But, okay. Interesting. Hmm. What's inside of here? Okay, there is the crane. Good. Fishing boat overall. Okay, there's a lot of little details. That you can place around, play around with as well. But uh, you need to keep it quite limited as well. Yeah, this will work for now. Just say it like that. Um, it looks wonderful though. Should the highway not have traffic? Oh, gotcha. But the answer yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, I want to um, get to that right about now. It's probably. Hold on, I got ping on. I get us on your server. Okay. Check that later on, but I have another message. Nothing, what about this? Okay. Alright, so let's um let's get to this I suppose. Elevation of the highway here is six meters. How does that look on this? Just need to be careful with this now. Because um the heavy changes the elevation here. to see that that section of the highway is so much lower than the other one but okay whatever
Gonna go on the other end. Real quick. Oh, hold on. I should be only going to six meters, that's right. Next point for that is here. I said that. There. Yeah, it's going to relatively work out in this area, which is good. I need to bring in a highway from the other side as well. Needs a visible spawner to work. Actually, do you think? Oh, yeah, no, that's right. These are not invisible roads and uh, that I've used here. The reason why I'm using this wide one is because it gives me like better overview of what I actually have going on with the roads and stuff, and, like their placement and things alike. And this is only for the off ramps. When you start this road again? Uh, Saturday, I think. So today is Monday, so yeah, two days ago, two and a half days ago, I think. Not exactly sure, but yeah. For two days, it's not like super special um progress actually hold on no that was not gonna work never mind
need uh hold on. Wow, you do work fast. Eh I guess. It's not particularly like special on this one. Maybe maybe it is, I don't know. I I, I, I don't like to compare myself at speed and like how fast I can do something. It's not enjoyable. You do have a lot of patience with the roads too. Eh that, that purely depends on how I'm feeling that particular day. And uh, right now, today I guess I feel good enough to um, do these roads. Like, if you were to compare what this route was today, this morning, with... Well, I mean, I should have kept progress pictures, to be honest, because... I, I, uh, you have no idea. <laughs> um... But if you compare, if you were to compare that out, what it was this morning, with what it is right now, um, like the what was the last picture that I sent to Hans? Like I believe the skyscrapers were in place. Yes. Um, yeah, in the morning there were no textures. Uh, this steel mill did not exist yet, neither did these cranes nor this pier. Um, the water was much, much uh, smaller, like it wasn't going all the way up there. There were no boats over anywhere other than this cargo ship. Uh, this was still hidden in ground and without water and without the ships. Um, this pier here did not exist. The trees obviously were not there, no textures, no details. Uh, this road section was not here, The this road wasn't there. The cars over here that are here were not there. I like downloaded most of the vehicles um, yesterday and I placed them today. Um, this front row of buildings, like up to this point it existed or like up to... No, up to here it existed. Everything past that point is new. So this this has been placed today. Um, yeah. <laughs> I it was there. I did place around some more uh, details and vehicles in here as well. Like for example this beautiful bus. I'm really happy that I decided to download those 7,000... Seven and a half thousand asses yesterday. So, yeah. It, it really worked out well. <laughs> oh. Okay, so... That brought me there. I want this one now. That does go down, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. The thing with this point that I'm using right now is that it needs to be hidden a bit better. Because it's a visible... Um, Like dashed line. Actually, I'm gonna keep them high up for a short while. Just so that I can manipulate them better into position.
Mm-hmm. Men last coach, yep. Yeah, love the progress. <laughs> yeah, it's going well. Over here it doesn't really matter if the wheels of the cars are clipping through the road a little bit because you're not really gonna be seeing that. But yeah, I need the cars to um, follow on but because of the road and the modules that I'm using they wouldn't work on uh, these off ramps on ramp, so I need to do it manually like this. Quite tedious, but yeah. I've done worse stuff in this game, so. You're not gonna see the cars like driving on that, so I'm not really keen on placing a uh, uh, I wanted to say something, but I completely forgot what I'm sorry about that. Oh, yeah, uh, I know now. Because you're not gonna be seeing the cars there, nor what they drive on. Um, doesn't really matter whether I hide or don't hide the, this little road spline that I'm using. Need to keep the... ...idea of this up. Okay. But I still want to hide it where I can. Just so that it's uh, not that intrusive and stuff like that. It works up there. So yeah. I don't have to be worried about accidentally seeing it exist. See, that looks relatively nice. It works relatively well as well. Look at that. Neom. <laughs> nice. I'm still gonna have to make a custom region with uh, traffic for, for this. Um, there's, there's a lot of stuff that I would like to have different. But at the same time, I want to keep a lot of it. Like the cars, for example, they're relatively fitting and good. Some of them. But some trucks or buses, they don't exactly fit the uh, the area. So I would like to replace them. I would like to put in some more trucks as well. Um, so yeah. That's why I'm going to be making the new region. But yeah, it's relatively nice. I like how it works. 
and everything like that. For example, the the police car, it's, you know, that doesn't fit at all. That's German police car. <laughs> the buses, they don't really fit. It could replace the smaller trucks for some bigger ones. Uh, the Russian buses obviously can be replaced for something more fitting as well. Because I did find a lot of uh, different vehicles that I could use. I would also like some more of like these older cars on the roads. But yeah, other than that, the variety of vehicles right now is relatively uh, good. But I am going to go through and uh, select out 100 assets to use for a new region. Why 100? Well, because you cannot have more than that, unfortunately. <laughs> so, yeah. I know, relatively limiting, but oh well, whatever. Because there's definitely more than 100 cars that would be absolutely amazing to have here. Not not only cars, actually, just like full-on vehicles that would be just so wonderfully fitting in here. But I cannot use them, because, yeah. Yeah, that's why. Stupid. Alright, that works quite well. Happy with this so far. <laughs> so the white, blue, plus 6, 7, 3 earlier. And the Leas, yeah. Trains 100 different cars per region, 64 layers per session. <laughs> yeah. Some of the limits are quite annoying, but yeah. Whatever. The 64 um, layer limit makes perfect sense um, as long as you don't take into account what you and I did, Kengo, with uh, with them. What I did on Polaris and what you did in one of your sessions. If, if you don't take that into account, then it makes perfect reason why there are only 64 layers. <laughs> All right, one more piece of highway, and that's this one here. Now this one is the one that's gonna be visible the most. So I have to pay 
extra attention onto for this one. And it needs to be brought up the top. And I'll do it like this. And spawn point in the middle to use. And then just bring it down. The thing about this uphill is that I need to hide it on the uphill. Because, uh,. That one is visible from the tracks. Did I hit that? Really? 889? Oh. Okay. There we go. Need to be careful on that hill, yeah. That's gonna be good enough, fuck it. This is what, 910? Obviously needs to be lower. 885. Here comes the fun part of this all. This here needs to be absolutely precise. Okay, give me a car. Nice. Nice. <laughs> yes. Oh, amazing. Okay. Oh. Yes, and there is an expect trains to be used uh, stop motion animation software. <laughs> nope. Would also be nice if trains support AI vehicles with joints, but oh well. Yeah. Would be better if the system for AI vehicles was overhauled as a whole, to be honest. There's a lot of improvements to be made, but I guess it works for now. So that, that yeah. Fair enough. Now. That's only the off ramps. Now I need to make traffic for this place here. But before I do that, I want to experiment around with some splines and some ideas that I've had uh, for this that could make this a bit easier to uh, to create. So I'm not gonna be focusing that on that at all right now. But I'm happy that the intersection works. The interchange is there. Now. Not disable the 
Random rotation. What is the height here? 11. Right? Name destination two times three line. Avenue 9th July. Montserrat Retiro. Okay. a different one. Oh, yeah, okay, never mind. <laughs> That's why. I'm stupid. Get a good look at the sign. I think it's July, I don't know. I don't speak Portuguese. Spanish? No idea. No, they speak Portuguese in Argentina, don't they? I remember. It's a nice language. Here we go. It shows in miles, doesn't it? Okay, that's that. Mm -hmm. There's this one again. Alright. This is the time. I... 
open the map. Is it powered by any electricity too? Is highway direction signs and so on? Yes, um, I've mentioned it in the first 20 minutes when you were not here. Once again, um, read the... Uh, not read. Watch the 20 minutes when this is done so that you can get a bit of a better understanding of what's going on. But yes, indeed, Retiro, Montserrat and other uh, places are in fact real in Buenos Aires. Aires. Uh, I'm not... Oh. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, um, I'm sorry about that, but yeah. There's a lot of like railway terminals and Retiro actually, what I've modeled this after, has like all the major train stations as well. Like it's just three terminals right next to each other. Right? So, yeah, that, I don't really have space for that here and I don't really want to put it here. There's another terminal south that I've been thinking about putting in. That's Plaza Constitución. Constitución, I don't know how to uh, pronounce it. But uh, yeah, that's a bigger terminal station that could be part of this route, right? Uh, there's a terminal in the west. It was here, I saw it here, this one. Estación Ons. It's like smaller terminal. But that could be a possibility as well. Or up here, where is it? Uh, it was a bit further out. Oh, this one here. Federico La Croce, this terminal. Been thinking about that one as well. Like, one of these three is definitely going to be. The one that I'm gonna, in fact, um, try to somewhat represent. Um, I just don't know which one it's going to be yet. Right? So, um, yeah. But those are the three terminals that... Uh, what? Three? Yeah, the three terminals that I've had been thinking about. So, yeah. Plaza Constitución. Very grand station. Beautiful. Um, Estación Once, a bit more modern, but still quite nice to have. And, um, I can never find this one. There it is. <laughs> Federico La Croce. So, yeah, th those are the stations I've been thinking about. Obviously, I would love to have Retiro here, like the actual station, because it's like the most brilliant one. But, yeah, it just worked out that it does not exist <laughs> here on the route. But yeah. Um, so I've had Retiro and Montserrat over on the signs and I pretty much like put this highway in here. That one that turns into the 9th Avenue. Which uh, is on the signs here that I've referenced. The 9th Avenue. So yeah, that's that one. Um... Bit like the, this interchange to like kind of represent it so yeah um i want to have the signs here to point somewhere now obviously that's this highway here that goes through the tunnel over here i'm not even sure like if it's a highway or what it really is and this one still has like the old tracks here they've been old they, they're gone now those tracks so yeah but yeah, there's a container terminal and there's other stuff down there as well, so yeah. Um, it's not actually a highway continue down here, it's... Um, it is kind of... Well, it is a highway actually. Looking at that. Yeah, that is a highway in the tunnel down here. Goes down here to what is this? San Telmo. So let's see what I can... These are gonna be blanks. Okay. 
that. I uh, cannot exactly configure more on that. I would like to have like these bigger letters on that though. Hmm. that you could see it from like further away it was actually like gonna be going on you know but it's all just like small fucking text I'm gonna get rid of that sign actually gonna just use this one thinking about it now it's gonna work better there you, there you are How far is that? That's like, say, like... Four kilometers. And it's gonna be San Telmo. Actually, can I do this? Okay. Four kilometers. Road name. Can I just like copy the name of the the road? <laughs> That'll be better. First destination is what? San Telmo? Actually... Porto Madero. Yeah, let's do that. Puerto, sorry. Fuck. There we go. <laughs> And then San Telmo. Okay, now up this way most name <laughs> now I have something to implement I guess like this how far would that be from here <laughs> I just said that the intersection is like four kilometers away as well.
No, okay. <laughs> okay, I'll have to do it like this then. Mm -hmm, that's too long. I have no idea how I could shorten it down in Portuguese. Unfortunately, I don't speak that, so... How would I name this road, though? Is it Del Pio? No, it's not. No. Yeah, low pull the Lugones. That's gonna be it. Low pull the Lugones. And that's gonna be it. I will do it. Nice. Oh. But now you have an idea of what I basically want to do. So the tracks they run on the coast. So, yeah, I'm going to be cutting off the yard somewhere around here, making the tracks turn as well. So that I can repurpose this area to fit the airport in here. And we're going to be continuing out west. We're going to pass the airport, we're going to turn more inland, and then it's going to be basically just driving through the suburbs. I have no idea how big it's going to be. Um, I'll need to like get an entire idea of the entire city, like the scale of it, before um, I'll be able to tell exactly how big I want the city to be, or like how long I want the player to drive through the endless suburbs of Buenos Aires. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's gonna be the next thing to do, and then. Yeah, like I would like to go in all of the cardinal directions, but I cannot go east, really, because that's Uruguay, right? So I could maybe like go to like the border, but where? <laughs> I would have to like, I don't know, Are there even tracks anywhere here? There aren't really. It's in the railway anywhere, so a lot of it would actually be quite fictional railways. I don't see railways on the map at least. But yeah. You can also like see that hmm, it's abandoned now then. Maybe it is, maybe it's not, I don't know, but at least on the satellite you can see which way it's going, but on the map you cannot really. Because it's not mapped out. God knows which lines in Argentina actually function, am I right? <laughs> That's an interesting station. I like that. Next to the river as well, like that. Yeah. Going out that way. That's the bigger lake. 
Yeah, that, that's this leg, obviously. Kango, you know which one it is. That's the railway. Just going across. Bit of a... You can see the ripples in the water as it's going through the little gap. That's amazing. But yeah, cuts it in half and just continues on. It's like, it's literally just going straight on west. Or a bit like northwest, but you know. It's just a straight line. So that's gonna be fun to uh, to make. Work with and stuff. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I would like to like make mini Argentina. So like going south, I would love to uh, like be visualized that you're just going from like, grassy lands into like this desert kind of stuff, like the southern point of Argentina and things. It's somewhat representative, you know. Heading north like the border of other countries and stuff and heading west I would love to um, like go to the Andes because I feel like that would be quite the, the stuff to do but yeah obviously I have to scale it down everything and work only on small parts as they go not plan anything yet like bigger, far away, because that's not not gonna work out. I'll just lose interest if it's gonna if it's gonna become overwhelming. So yeah, need to keep stay on top of things. And uh, yeah, I would say that's it for today. Thank you for joining me to the start of the new route. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, stream. And I wish you a wonderful day, morning, evening, night, afternoon, or whatever, wherever, wherever you are. <clears throat> yep. Is there a fun great work uh, so far? Good luck with this project. Yep, absolutely. Gonna need that luck <laughs> to, uh, to pull through this. But I really hope to make something out of this. I'm not gonna be having big plans. I'm just like, okay, I would like to go in all the cardinal directions and that's it. I don't know what I'm gonna end up actually doing. I don't know when. I don't know what style and things like that. But yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. That's the idea I have so far. <laughs> so yeah. Once again, thank you, and see you next time. Bye-bye.